Well, today I'm going to get something I should have bought years ago. So stick around, let me show you what it is. What we have here on the trailer is a Prefort cattle sweep. And what this is, it sweeps the cattle around to get them, help get them into the chute. Now this is a 90 degree chute. I really want a 135. They make a 90, 135, and a 180. I really want a 135. Been waiting for six weeks. Still hadn't got one, so I went ahead and got the 90 degree. And I'll show you that if you want to look up and see what the differences are. Just go to Prefort website. But we're going to start getting this thing together. But first, we have to take apart what we have up there now. Let's go take a look at it. So what this is, is, is a sweep that sit right back here on the back of my chute. And we're going to get rid of all this mess right here that has been a pain in the rear end. So all this has to come out right here. That gate has to come out, the gate on the back of the chute, and this little section of fencing right here. It all has to come out. So we're gonna get started on the demolition, and then I'll bring you back once we get it uh, torn apart and kind of show you what we're doing. Okay, update time. You see I got the gates down. The panel down right here, cattle panel, gate down, small gate down, gate down, all this torn apart right here. As you can see, I've got plenty of help around here. I don't know what it is, they won't be right up on me. But now I'm gonna get my tractor, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna pull these posts out right here, these two, those three over there. We need to pull this one up right here too. When we get these pulled up, then we'll be ready to set that up and see if it's gonna work. Well, I've got the post pulled, all except for that one right there. I'm going to leave it for the time being. I've got the post pulled, everything cleaned up. Got a trailer back in here. So we're ready to stand that thing up, put it together. So as soon as my help gets here, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let me show you what we got. My oldest son and my grandson came up and set it up help set it up for me and there's what we're doing that is a 90 degree prefect cattle sweep now what i'm going to need to do is right here at this gap right here from here over to the barn there i'm going to take my six foot powder river gate and put it up right there and then what we're going to do this thing open back. And we'll get the cows in this lot over here. Just kind of ease them around this fence line right here and they'll come back right down through here. Now like I say that gap, there'll be a six foot gate there. We'll ease them on up into here. And we'll come right here and we'll shut it like that. And then we start squeezing them on up. There's several places you can stop them. Lock them in if need, need be. But you bring them on around. And bam. Squeeze them on up in that chute right there. So let's hope it works like I'm thinking it's supposed to work. But we still got some stuff to do. I still need to attach it right up here to my chute. It's just set up right now. I need to come in here and take some stuff off and attach it to my chute. Then I'm going to drive a T-post right here at this corner. Chain to a T-post. I'll have me a post right here in the ground. My gate attached to it and I'll hook it to that section. And we'll come right around here at this uh, post and we'll drive another T-post and put a chain around it. And you won't do that because those cows get in there and they start getting antsy. They try to stick their nose under the panels or, or under them or in between them and picking up on them. 
So we want this just as firm as we can get it. So that's all we're gonna do today. So I'll get back on the project tomorrow. We'll try to get short up some and then see if we can't get this gate in. Well, it's the next day and we're back out here and gonna do a little more work on our sweep system here. First thing we're gonna do is take this board off right here and turn it around flat, slide this up a little bit where we can attach all this together right here. Then I went to track supply and if you look on the back of my old truck there, I've got three 34 inch hog panels. And what we're gonna do with them, we're gonna attach them to the outside. There, right here to this gate. And then around here on the outside of this. And I measured those sections are four feet apart, or excuse me, eight feet a section. So one 16 foot section, I'll do that. Now the reason for that, this will work fine for the cattle but the goats here, I'm gonna use this system for them also. And they can come through those bars and come under them or whatever. So we're gonna goat proof it. Then we'll come over here and we're gonna set a post right here on this corner to put our six foot gate back to the barn right there. So that's what we're gonna start on right now. Just stick around and I'll bring you back for an update. All right, let's have a little update. Got my board in the corner there, turned around, screwed back like I need it. I took my hog panels, I've cut them to the lengths I needed, and I've got them just temporary on there with some zip ties, just to hold them in place until I get them put on there permanently. So, uh, that ought to make them goat proof. So I've got those on there. Well, I'll come back tomorrow or the next day and I'll take, get some wire and I'll wire them on there good. I left the gate up on the bottom just a little bit might drop it another two or three inches so that's going to work on there just fine as you see i still got plenty of help out here today now let's get on to putting a post in right here on the corner i've got an auger i believe i can dig it by hand faster than i put that auger on my tractor let's see how hard the ground is well that's all we're going to do for today we got a post in and I did hand dig it. It's just not worth hooking up the auger for one post. It's a lot easier with the auger, no doubt about it, but it's not worth it for one post. Now, if you look at it against this back, you may say something's out of plumb. Trust me, the post is plumb. I put a level on it, but our gate panel here is running just slightly downhill. So it makes it a little bit off. But the gate post is plumb. And I'm gonna come over here tomorrow after it sets up and hang this gate. And instead of hanging it here, instead of hanging it here where it swing either way, I'm gonna hang it on this back side right here. Because I just swing the ends all I'm gonna to wanna to do. And that way it'll swing all the way back against this panel right here. And it stays open a good bit, so I swing it back against that panel and it'll be out of the way. Where if I mount it on this front side right here. You just swing out that way 90 degrees or that way 90 degrees. So we're gonna mount it here and we're gonna have to come over here on this side and do another post or something. I got that big old root right there in my way so I don't know what we're gonna do but we'll figure that out tomorrow. So that's all for today. Let's go in, get something cool to drink and call it a day. See you tomorrow. All right. Got the gate hung. As you see, I hinged it on that side right there so it'll swing all the way around against that panel. Now let me tell you what we had to do right here. I went and started to dig that hole, got down about two inches, gonna put a post right there. We're right on top of a big old root. So there's no way to put a, uh, dig a hole and put a post there. So we had to go to plan B. And what I did, is I took this back six by six right there and I drilled four holes in it and I got some 10 inch lag bolts. And I drilled through the purlins in the wall there. So I've got them lagged to the wall of the barn. Then I took this other uh, six by six right here. And you can see right there, there and down there, I drilled it three holes 
and I lagged it to the other one. So we're as stout as it can be. Then I took my little hole saw, threw me a couple of holes in it for my latch. So we got that took care of, taken care of. The only thing left to do, I've still just got these panels temporarily with zip ties, but I do have my wire to tie them on good. So I need to do that and clean this mess up that we tore apart. But that's not gonna happen right now. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna work our goats. First thing we're gonna do is get our uh, mature nannies from over there, get them in here, get them worked through the chute, and get them split up and put with the billies. And then we're gonna run these young goats through and just check their eyes, and check their feet good. So that's what we're gonna get on now. All right, we're ready to get started. I got the young goats locked up inside the stable there. Here are our mature does. And we're gonna try this out right here and see how it works. Let's squeeze them on up in there some. Okay, we're gonna stop right there for right now. Okay, we've got the mature goats worked and we've got them split up into two groups with their billies. Now, I didn't show working them just cause we got the rocking going pretty good. Everything was working smooth. So we just kept on going. So uh, that's Willie right there. You can see he's already in love. So Willie has got six. There's the other two up there. Willie has six over here with him. That old brown goat there, that's gonna be her, this is gonna be her last rodeo. She's getting a little age on her. Then over here we got Bucky. Here's Bucky right there. And here are his six. So we're gonna breed 12 total. And that little gate opens into that lot down there, so they got plenty of room to get around. And uh, Willie and his harem, they've got all that group. Now we're gonna take a break for a few minutes. We've got a young goats. We're gonna work them right quick. Now what we did with these mature goats, we gave them all a four gram copper bolus. Um, check their eyes and only ended up deworming three of them. And they weren't bad, but we went ahead and gave them a little dose anyway. And we trim all of them's feet. So they're all good to go. Now young goats, same deal. We're gonna run through, they all gonna get a two gram bolus, copper bolus, and we're gonna check their feet also. So we're gonna take a break for a few minutes, get the small ones worked, and get the goats out of the way. All right, we're ready to work the little weanlings here. Nice, open that gate, got them right in here. Now this little, Sweep work great for my big goats. Let's see if these are small ones are cooperating good. Just crowd them around. And they should go on up to shoot. But I need two hands, so I'm gonna turn this thing off. All right, well I crowd them up in there and you can see right there, work like a charm. All right, folks, that's the one we've been looking for. The last one. This makes 33 goats we've worked this morning. There's Dr. Anita, my good half, and yeah. we've been giving them all copper bolsters, checking feet, and we've dewormed a few. There wasn't any real bad ones, but there's a handful, four or five, that need just a little light dose, so we took care of them. So this is the last one. We're gonna get him fixed up right quick. Then we're gonna take a break. Right, Nan? Yep, take a break. All right. Well, I should have done that years ago. As I said at the beginning, that is a preferred 90 degree sweep. I'd been waiting and waiting because I wanted a 135 degree, but never did come in. So I went ahead and bought the 90 
and I believe it's going to work just fine. If it works near as good on the cattle as it did on the goats, it's going to be great. I really enjoyed working it with the goats. Just helped push them right on through. No problem. So we got the uh, sweep up. As you saw, we got all the goats worked. Thank goodness. We've got the mature doe split into two groups. Got them with the two billies. We'll keep them separated for a few weeks. Then we'll put them all together uh, in one big group. Now next, we'll be working cows either next week or the week after. Still trying to do catch up from uh, tropical storm uh, Helene. Still got trees down everywhere, but we'll get them a little bit of time. But anyway, that's all we're gonna do for now. So until the next time, hope you have a great week. <laughs>